Phylum Ctenophora, also known as comb jellies, includes marine, diploblastic, and biradially symmetrical organisms that exhibit unique characteristics such as eight rows of ciliary comb plates for locomotion. These are often mistaken for cnidarians but lack nematocysts or stinging cells, relying instead on specialized adhesive cells called coloblasts for capturing prey. Exclusively marine organisms, mostly found in open seas. They are planktonic, drifting in the water column, but capable of weak swimming using ciliary movement. Diploblastic, meaning their body is composed of two germ layers, ectoderm and endoderm. They exhibit biradial symmetry, which is a combination of radial and bilateral symmetry. Acoelomate, they lack a true body cavity, or coelom. The body is soft, transparent, and gelatinous. Movement is facilitated by eight external rows of ciliary comb plates, which beat in a coordinated manner to propel the organism forward. This is the only animal group where locomotion is solely cilia-driven. So, the digestive system of phylum catenophora is quite fascinating. They have an incomplete digestive system, which means it consists of a mouth but lacks an anus. Undigested food is expelled through the mouth or temporary pores. Interestingly, their digestion process is both extracellular and intracellular. Catenophores are carnivorous and feed on small planktonic organisms. They possess specialized sticky cells called coloblasts, which are found on their tentacles. These coloblasts help in capturing prey by adhesion. There are no specialized respiratory or excretory organs in cetanophores. The exchange of gases and excretion occurs through diffusion. They have a simple nerve net. Additionally, a special organ called the statocyst, located at the aberral end, functions as a balance organ to maintain orientation. Most sea ketenophores are hermaphrodites, meaning they have both male and female reproductive organs in the same individual. Fertilization is generally external in water. Their development is indirect, involving a free-swimming larval stage known as the sidipid larva. Many ctenophores exhibit bioluminescence, which is the ability to emit light, making them glow in the dark. Pleurobrachia is commonly known as the sea gooseberry. Cadenoplana is a flattened, creeping ctenophore. Barrow is a cylindrical, sac-like ctenophore without tentacles.